take this case and drop it down the shaft at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Get your hands up, Maxon. I took it right from under Captain America's nose and finished him off at the same time. You should have gone down the shot to make certain. Anyhow, we got the money and outsmarted the district attorney. Perhaps. Ruth is checking now. All right. The money is hot. District attorney tricks Scarab. Extortion money useless. The district attorney's office has just announced that the extortion money delivered by J.C. Henley, wealthy oil man. The criminal gang headed by the scarab is useless to them. A serial number on every bill was listed. Banks and business houses have been notified to keep a sharp lookout and phone the police at once should any of the money be presented. A list of the serial numbers will be found on page three. In my last note to Henley, I warned him he would suffer if he failed to obey my instructions. Now I shall demonstrate to him what it means to disobey the scarab. Matson, proceed with that original plan. Yes, sir. How soon can you be ready to strike? By tonight. After tonight, Henry will be glad to pay any price I demand, in spite of all the protection he can get from the district attorney. And although your trick to prevent the use of the money was successful, you will soon learn how dangerous it is to disregard the Scarab's orders. Scarab, when did you get this note? It slipped under my door about an hour ago. You know, I was a fool to take your advice. I should have paid the money without any strings and had it all over with. What assurance do you have that the Scarab would have stopped with one demand? Once you start paying extortion money, there's no end to it. But this second note doesn't ask for money. It just threatens me. Oh, I want to help you, but well, I've got to consider my own safety. I've considered that, too, and made arrangements to keep you right here in my own apartment under guard. But neither you nor any member of that Mayan expedition can be really safe until the Scarab and his gang are run to Earth. Of course, you're right. It's a hopeless task. Not exactly. This was in the pocket of the man found at the mine. Just a card from a used car lot. It isn't much of a clue. No, but it does indicate that the dead man has had some connections with the used car lot.
You the manager? Right. I'm Gardner, district attorney. Oh. Sit down. Thank you. What's on your mind? Have you ever seen this man? Why, yes. I sold him a truck the other day. What type? Panel job. I've got the specifications right here. Funny thing about it, too, he had me looking for several days. Had to be just right. Nothing else would do. Here. 18 feet long, five and a half wide, eight high. Double doors in the back with 12-inch window in each. License number? XM7643. Was it in condition to be driven away? No. My tow car delivered it to a garage on the other side of town. Which garage? I don't know. It was the night man made the delivery. I'll ask him when he comes on tonight. Phone me the address of that garage as soon as you can. I'll be waiting in my office. Sure. So far, the only clue we have is the license number. Now, if we... Hello? Just a moment. It's for you, Chief. Hello? Hello, Mr. Gardner. I have the information you want. It's Martin's Garage on 5th Street. That's right. Martin's Garage. Take it easy with this, sir. This sure looks like one of the real company trucks. Yeah, good job. That's exactly like the one used at Henley's plant. Hurry up. I'm supposed to be on my way to the oil plant now. Hey, what about Barton? He's getting the blueprints. I'll pick him up on the way. Slide the door back, will you? There. We only fix them. You misunderstand me. A large panel truck was towed in here the other day for repairs. The license number is XM7643. Oh, yeah. It needed a new motor, and we didn't have any, so we turned down the job. The owner took it someplace else. You don't know where it was taken, do you? No, I don't. And you didn't do anything at all to it? No, not a thing. You don't mind if I look around, do you? Oh, well, go ahead. Help yourself. Thanks. <laughs> inside. Phone for some of our men. Check the place carefully. Is the truck in there? No, but they stenciled a loop with the name of Henley's Technigas Oil Company, so they must be planning to attack his plant. I've got to get out there right away. Hey, wait a minute. I've never seen you before. New man? Yeah. I'll have to see your pass.
where do we hook them in? Connect it into this pipe. And the nitro gas will feed through these pipes into every building in the plant. Wait. 200 pound pressure on this line. I'll close the master valves. Get out of here. Open up that master valve. 